It's definitely the fanciest carrier product I've ever installed. Like very nice packaging. Very high quality construction. I'm gonna glue from the packaging. Of course it's beginning to rain. Unit's gonna be going right here. Should be nice. But check out the new motors, new fan blade styles. They're so like extreme with that like tail that comes off the edge. And like that motor looks so alien. Made in China. 250 watt DC 340 volts, so it's a direct current motor. It must have some permanent magnets in it then. Of course, we'd be able to tell that if we just give this a little push. Yep, it has permanent magnets. You can tell because the blade kind of there's positions that it wants to be in. Like right there. See how it springs back a little bit? So that means this is probably a VFD motor has a variable frequency drive either in the controls here or actually in the motor itself. Super efficient and fancy. So you can see our load comes in here and here. That's no big deal. And then we've got a spot for our ground. And our low voltage wires. Looks like it's a sensor. Not sure where our low voltage wires. You can see these big things that the wires coil through. Those are all to get rid of electrical noise because the unit needs everything to be perfect. These are probably also to get rid of noise. Yeah, they are. And as you move up, it just keeps getting more complicated. You can see we have a couple of things converting to direct current or something. Some big old capacitors, at least very big for on a control board. And then these funky things. More stuff for noise cancelling. It's just like so much complicated stuff. And all that is mounted to this big aluminum heat sink plate. You can see they have some heat sink paste between those two plates to get rid of all that heat and transforming stuff. It's crazy. It's way too complicated. Here's the indoor unit. Surprisingly, it just has a conventional blower motor, or combustion fan motor. I'm guessing that the blower motor is going to be a... Yep, this is an ECM blower motor. Electrically accommodated. You can see it also has permanent magnets. By the way, it springs back. So this thing actually runs on direct current that is mimicking alternating current, which is pretty crazy. That's what that module is for on the back of the motor. You can see our control board is very fancy. And if you don't enjoy dip switches, then you're not going to enjoy setting up one of these units. Because there's a lot of them. Everything else with it is pretty typical. Nice end style coil with a stainless steel head expansion valve for R410A. Very fancy. Of course this is all aluminum so that it doesn't get eaten away with formicary corrosion. And they upgraded this to aluminum too. Which is kind of interesting because everything else is just still galvanized so this will rust but this won't. But this is typically what rusted on those old ones so that was a good upgrade by Carrier. Dark work should be adequate. It'll be a really nice system. Unfortunately, the line set is 3 eighths, 3 quarter, which is not the same as 3 eighths, 7 eighths. So we're going to have to pull this entire line set all the way down to the wall over there and replace it with the 3 eighths, 7 eighths. I just finished installing this beautiful carrier infinity system. Just set it to cool, so it should bring on the outdoor unit in a minute. But it's really cool watching that thing ramp up, so I'm going to show you the outside. Had to reroute where the low voltage went come out over here 
because it was coming out of here and you're not supposed to run it next to like radio wires or communication wires or high voltage wires pretty much any wires and there's like 40 why didn't he just drill his own hole look at all this stuff he shoved through there and it messed it up for me because I had to rerun the entire low voltage line out here because this thing uses like three or four volts on these two wires back and forth to communicate and if there's any interference then it will cause what they call uh, nuisance fault codes so that's annoying anyway just waiting for it to kick on here Should kick on any minute now here it is hear that that's the compressor Now the blades start doing this funky thing. They're deciding which way to spin. I can feel the heat coming off of it already from the compressor running. Because the compressor motor is also variable and also has permanent magnets in it. Same with this motor up here on the top. Super neat. But that weird like fan wiggle dance, it does that to figure out which way it needs to spin. Because since it doesn't have any like capacitor to start it spinning, it just uses some permanent magnets, it has to make sure it goes in the right direction to begin with. And this is why people like these things. They are extraordinarily quiet, like, from the side of the house, we won't even be able to tell it's running. From over here, super faint hum, versus like, an old air conditioner would be like, Barrr. Now it'll ramp up slowly, um, as it has more cooling demand, which right now there's a lot of cooling demand, because we just installed this so the house is warm. See, it looks pretty good there. It just ramped up. It's probably third stage cooling. It has uh, five stages, four or five stages. I can't quite remember. Pretty complicated. Definitely don't want to put your fingers in there. I'm about to throw the cover on and pretty much call it done. It looks really nice. Oh yeah, I need to zip tie that. But neat technology.